What's up, everybody? I'm here with Alex from Playing With Fire. Say hello. What's up, guys? How's it going? It's funny because I noticed you, you guys can't see because it's going to be split screen, but unless he turns the camera a little bit, but I noticed there's a whole bunch of handprints all over his glass in the background. He, I pointed out he didn't even realize. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> yeah, I get busted for shit like that. Like, I'll have, I have this, I put girls up on my, like, bathroom uh, ledge, like, like, up on the sink, and I'm like, here, just, like, I, like, bang them, like, with their legs spread, like, like that, and they're, they're, like, leaning back and pressing their hands in the glass, and, like, one girl, like, leaned back, and she's like, there's already, like, handprints and, like, marks from some girl's head here, like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? No, there's not. <laughs> well, a burglar. Someone broke into my house, bro. <laughs> I just like that spot. Um, yeah, I always like when we go out of the bedroom, I'm like, hmm, where can we go? What counter can we use? And I like go to that one every time, but I like pretend every time. Like I'm just realizing, oh, let's try this for the first time. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk about uh, Hinge. It's a dating app. Um, I'm just going to ask. We didn't even prepare any kind of questions or script for this, but I, I kind of was late to the Hinge party. This is going to be on Alex's channel too. So, so for those of you who don't know, um, I'm John Anthony. Uh, been coaching since like 2012, but um, I had not. I'm like late to the hinge party. Like I just hit yesterday was girl uh, 1168, 1168. But I hadn't installed Hinge until about a month ago. I was mostly just using Tinder and Bumble, and I was I was a night night game guy for a long time. Uh, hinge, hinge is one of my favorite apps. I think really? it's better than, I think it's uh, on par with Bumble, pretty much. Nice. Yeah, it, it sucks that I was so late to the party, but I want to do that. What what made me think to this video is like when I was on there last night, I like messaged like ten chicks or whatever, and then I got messages back fairly quickly, and then like set up dates with a few chicks, and I was like, wow, I just set up a few dates in like ten minutes. Whereas with Tinder, it's just like bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> you know, Hinge is a lot newer, so. It's a lot newer than Tinder, so I think that a lot of girls on there, they're not like old and active accounts. Like the girls on there are more like active, more. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's what I've noticed. We'll give, let's give like an overview and then I'll give you like, I have I didn't like read any formal strategy on it, but I was just applying what I know from just general game stuff. And I'll, and I'll see how, how much that lines up with yours and you can give your strategy and insights. You want to give like an overview of it? Yeah, so Hinge is basically a crossover, in my opinion, between like a dating app and a dating website because you get to like you get to pick a few questions and then pick answers to it. I think that's actually really good because you can screen before you match with a girl, so you can use those questions to uh, to like screen girls out who are more DTF or whatever, more fun, more down to do shit. Um, so you know, you want to screen out the DTF girls. You want to screen out the DTF girls. You want to go for the marriage only girls. You want to screen want to out the girls who are too raunchy. Meet up with the super prudes and secret fatties. You want, you, sometimes you want the super prude who is a secret fatty. I remember you used that term when we met for the first time years back in LA. You were, you were talking about secret fatty. You were showing me a text right. You're like, are you trying to secret fatty me to a chick? I think that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... All right, so people fill out the questions, but it it also like forces you to put like five pictures, right? Five or six. You have to have six pictures. Six, yeah, yeah, because like I I usually have like two or three like really 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 good ones, and on Tinder and Bumble like those are the only three I use, two or three, and that with Hinge it was making me it was forcing me to pick six. It's good though because if a girl has like one or two pictures, you know you can get secret fatty, but if there's six, which <laughs> being secretly fatty is unless, it, unless there's like six lower. <laughs> Six face pics. I see that on there. Like yeah, six. Okay. <laughs> There's a big red flag. Six pure face pics, and then you, you get them on the on text message, and I'll be like, hey, send a send a picture that's like not your face, and she's like, not like I don't send pictures to strangers. I'm like, yeah, but I want to see what you look like before we meet. Oh, like, like maybe we're looking for something different. It's like what? That's the secret fatty logic. If I ever heard it. <laughs> Yeah, are they get are they get very defensive? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I dude, I don't I don't even bother if I don't see a body pic. I'll left swipe. Like I don't even bother with that shit anymore. <laughs> and then eventually it comes out. She's like, "Well, I'm a bit big boned." Or they use like some funny adjective that like makes it okay. 
I'm a or there's like a whole lot of women or something like that. Like, yeah, there's, there's all these terms. There's a, I'm a I'm, I'm a big girl. Curvy is yeah. They, they like they, they use curvy. I'm very, I'm very curvy. But there's like no limit to the amount of fatness when they say curvy. All right, so, uh, all right, so you have to pick the six pictures and then fill out those questions. And then um, for those that aren't familiar, like you're not swiping. It just shows you like profiles in turn, and then you can either just like like a generic like on a picture or comment of theirs a picture or, or, question you, or, you can, or you can like with a comment yeah, yeah yeah so okay so you can i i personally like i right away i i realized like why would i ever just do a generic like on something like of course you want to give them a comment so it stands out right do you agree with that part first i do if you're if your goal is to bang that girl but if you're so if a girl's really hot then i'll do that but if she's just like above average then i'll just do a generic like and i'll wait oh, for really? her to, i'll wait for her to like me and then, yeah, and then, like, if she's, like, nothing super special. And then um, once we match, then I'll message her. Because, okay, that might be a little bit quicker to move through. But, like, I what my strategy really has just been um, ask a question, like, on a, on a particular picture or a particular question answered. I just ask a question about it so it, like, prompts a reply. Uh, my logic is like if I ask them a question, like the odds of them replying are higher than just seeing a generic like. They're getting tons of those. Yeah, it's definitely true. I like to I like to uh, do make like a unique observation. So um, if the picture is like her, like um, her with like a dog, for example. Well, now that I have a dog, so I'll, I'll use the dog angle a lot. So if she has a picture with a dog, I'll be like, oh, is that your dog? And she'll be like, um, she'll be like, oh no. I was like, oh okay, so no double date then. That's yeah. like a follow-up. Yeah, and most they're like, oh, you have a dog? I'll be like, yeah, fucking got a husky. And uh, funny enough, I can also use the, the dog as an excuse to like not go on public dates. I'll be like, oh yeah, my dog gets really bad separation anxiety. <laughs> so, um, you know, I it's, which is basically was kind of true. I'll be like, yeah, so I really <laughs> like to keep a close eye on him. So I guess we just have to split a bottle of wine in my place. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Like the smirk, the dog, the dog is like increasing your straight to the house meetup free. Um, no, like, yeah, I mean, a lot of the profiles, the girl has a dog in it as one of the six pictures, but which is surprising. I guess like almost every girl has a pet. It's like ridiculous. But but most most often they're not the girl's pet. They're just like posing with an animal, right? Oh uh, yeah, true. That's what I've noticed. But what what I do whenever there's a dog or like any kind of like exotic location, or whatever, I'll say like. Cute dog, what's his name? Or like with, with any kind of exotic picture, I'll be like, where I'll be like, looks fun, where was this? How, um, how do you how do you, how do you transition from that though? Like after she says, uh, like you ask her where was this, she says Machu Picchu. I just go into my regular script. Like all the all that first question like I don't continue on that thread. All that first question is is just to get them to the door. Get, yeah, get them to match it and then I just go straight to my regular script, which I've like cut down significantly. I'm going for the number close. I'm asking them out on like the second message, and on the third message, I'm going for the number close. Interesting. Do you what, what do you what do you find is your response rate with that? Like, if just going for the going for the number close so quick, because it's it's a little bit different than what I teach. What I teach is to get investment from the girl, then make plans, then go for the meetup. Investment, you said? Yeah. So get get a little bit of investment from her, like get her actually riding into the conversation. Find some way to get her to invest, which I so find like... really, really minimizes the chance of her flaking or her just disappearing. And once she invests, then, you know, propose the general idea of meeting up, then, you know, make hard plans and then switch over to texting. So you show her your stock portfolio and you try to get her to make an investment? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, listen, so I got, uh, I got 29 points and uh, I don't even know any, anything about stocks. <laughs> well, yeah, get, get her, get it's her like, I'm not willing to invest at this time. participating in the conversation, basically. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I skip all that because I'm always, my, I'm like, volume's always like my cornerstone. I mean, I'm I'm just trying to. I mean, it, it goes pretty well though. Like, uh, like here's here's the threat. Here's I'll just give this away. I guess here here's like the sequence that I'm currently using. Is I'll I'll ask them how is the hinge life treating them? How's the bumble life treating them? How's the Tinder life treating them? Whatever. And then they say some bullshit, and I'm like, then they usually ask how it's treating me, and I'll, I'll be like, lol, it's definitely interesting. Let's cut to the chase and get a coffee sometime. So, like, the, I started doing that in the past couple months. It's working really well. 
I, I say the let's cut to the chase because it, it kind of gives an excuse for why you're asking for it so quick. And I'm not asking for the number right away. I'm saying let's get a coffee sometime. And then if they push back on that, which doesn't happen a whole, as much as I thought it would, but if they push back on that, I just say endless chit chat on these apps can be boring. I prefer to get to know you in person. But if they say like, yeah, sounds good about the coffee, then I say, cool, let's plan something over text. It's easier. What's your number? And then over text, I say, hey, it's John from wherever. When are you free? And so it's um, it's just like a compliance ladder. Like she's gonna tell me how her experience on the app is when I ask her, and then I say, "LOL, let's cut to the chase." It's like give me an excuse to ask for meeting up, and then when she agrees to meeting up, then I, the number falls from there, and I just go straight to logistics over text. And if she asks, uh, and a lot of times I've been sexualizing lately too, and then she, and then she, so if she's like, "What do you want to do?" I'll be like, "Make babies, of course," and then I and then I transition that right into like we're gonna have to start practicing right away. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's just something I've been doing the past couple weeks. But I'm always like testing out new stuff. But because I, as I like see more and more, as there's like more and more data, there's been like thousands of dates now. I'm just like seeing like little like shortcuts. But what I realized though, the reason why I'm making it such a quick exchange on the app is that they can get busy doing something or, or whatever, and you can like lose the flow. So I'm like very quickly trying to get get their get them to get their phone give their phone number because they're gonna respond a lot quicker over text, like for the future. I don't want to have like an exchange that like spans across multiple days, typically, unless they're making me do it. If they're like, if they're like, oh, I'd, I want to talk more here on the app, then I'll say like, then let's chit chat me boring. Or if they're like, I can't get my phone number, I don't get my phone number until we meet, or I don't get my phone number out, I'll be like, well, I don't check this much. Those are like my standard, standard replies. But I, but I like, uh, and then, and then I have like a, a go-to thing. Like if they don't reply to, let's get a coffee sometime. Then I come back and hit them with like another thing. Like I just look through whoever hasn't replied to that and just blast them all. And then I have like a third firing, like if they haven't responded to that. Or you, you're just to be clear, you're doing the coffee thing because you're like you know you're uh, not drinking, right? Like before, yeah, I quit drink. I quit yeah, drink. Yeah. If, if before you would do wine and shit, right? Yeah, then I'd be like, let's cut to the chase. Do you like wine? Yes. Cool. We could split a bottle of wine in my new place. Do you prefer red or white? And then. Okay, sounds good. But um, I would probably I would probably still move them to text first before framing it to the house. I would just say, because um, then she's already complied by giving you her number. So I would just say, let's cut to the chase and, and have a glass of wine sometime. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's plan over text. It's easier. What's your number? And then, hey, it's John from wherever. Um, when are you free to meet up? She's like, this day. Cool, we could split a bottle of wine in my new place. That's how I do it that way. <laughs> we can split a cup of coffee at my new place. <laughs> do you like do you like milk or no milk? <laughs> well, what I what I do what I do to frame straight to the house now, since I don't do the wine thing, is I just say, um, Do you like sugar, no sugar? Like I, I have an I have an eighty inch TV and like I've been living in this apartment for a few months, but I, I just say I just bought it like like that day or the day before. All right. I'm like, hey, I just bought an eighty inch TV and I, I'm really interested to watch a movie on it. Are you well, usually I, I preface it too. I say, are you feeling spontaneous rather than saying, do you like red, do you like wine? I say, are you feeling spontaneous? And she'll just say like yes or depends, or whatever. Do you like eighty like, inch things? <laughs> and then I'll be and then I'll be like I'll be like I just <laughs> I'll be like I just bought uh, an eighty inch TV. I want to watch a movie. Um, you should join me. And then I don't give them like a chance to reply to that. I just say, what kind of movie do you like? What kind of movies do you like? Or I say, do you prefer action or comedy, like another decision close thing, like red or white? And then if she says some genre or, or she says action or comedy, I'm like, cool, we could watch um, such and such movie. And then and then I'll be like, don't worry, it's not Netflix and chill. I have no sexual expectations, LOL. But like, I also, but even though I say that, like then later on I'm talking about how I'm good at cuddling because I'm six foot four and stuff like that. And I like frame it how we're going to like cuddle and watch a movie. Oh. Okay, so a yeah, few differences. I won't. I won't bring up. Uh, I won't. I won't bring up like, oh, don't worry, it's not a sexual thing unless she uh, brings that up. So I, yeah. I, won't, I won't really yeah, bring that yeah, up. With the mo- yeah, with the movie, like if she, yeah, yeah, I usually wait to see if she's hesitant. But actually, now that I think about it, I'm not even usually saying the movie thing. I'm just saying we could chill at my new apartment and see how the chemistry is, rather than we could split a bottom line. I just say we could chill. That's the only part I switch. Okay. We- we could chill at my new apartment and see how the chemistry is. And I say sound good instead of do you prefer red or white? And then if I get safety objection, I say, 
Don't worry. Or right. LOL, I'm really laid back. You can bring a bottle. Or you can bring pepper spray for that one. Worried. You can you can bring another dog. Um, yeah, one thing one thing that I think I do differently is I will screen more up front. So I'll I'll like to give like like a little bit more of a statement of intent. So I'll say like you seem like my type, right? I, I use that statement a lot. And the girl will say, Oh, ha ha ha. And then I'll say cute and curvy with a bit of a wild side, right? And like the, the key is in the last thing, the wild side. And so if a girl's like prude, she'll be like, no, you know, I'm a shy, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes the girl will troll you and she'll be like, haha, that's not me. And I'll be like, even when it really is, I'll be like, oh, cool, you're a virgin like me, right? So that's like my further way of like screening it out. But um, yeah, so I'll typically do that, just kind of get for a feel. But most girls will be like, oh, yeah, how do you know? And then it kind of gives me the green light to, okay, like this girl is at least somewhat like non prudish most of the time. <laughs> So like I like to implement things like that, like throw them in there. Like sometimes I'll straight up say like you have a gorgeous body with like a devil face. Um, it depends if the girl's showing off her body or not though. Like if it's something that she's clearly proud of, then like <laughs> give the green light to say that. But basically, I just want to screen out like any girls who are going to be like, you know, ex extra prude or you know, not down to have a threesome with my dog. Just anything that you know is different than what I'm looking for. Yeah. I don't know. That's, just, that's to be, just to be clear for YouTube, I was kidding about the threesome. I'm not actually promoting <laughs> bestiality. No, but, there, but there's like pros and cons to that. I feel like I feel like a lot of like you can you can lose middle ground girls like that. That's true, but that's, that's why I think it's important to do it in a subtle way. It's not to be like, hey, you have a gorgeous body. I want to you know fuck the shit out of it. Like <laughs> that'd be a little more extreme. And more just like you seem like my type. Like that's a more. And then she's like, oh wow, like cute. You know, like oh cute with a cute smile and a wild side. Like, you know, if a girl is like middle ground, most of them are not going to object to that. And if they do, then you can kind of turn it around. I feel like mostly it's going to be like the prude girls who will object to that. <laughs> well, yeah, I do agree with that. You don't want to lose middle ground girls. Yeah. Those, well, are well, the most, those are usually the most reliable and like most best suited for like uh, any kind of like relationship or whatever. Or What, what do you think is the um, our other strategies for Hinge? I think I think it's good to um, to to pick your questions carefully. So the question, one of the questions I use is one of the most important things in a relationship, right? That's the question I say. Communication and great sex, and like I think that's a really good one. A lot of girls comment on that and say, "Oh, I totally agree." Because what girl is not going to agree with that? Like, oh no, like you want bad sex in a relationship and no communication. It's just like you're making a statement that like, you know, that is definitely true at least unless the girl is extreme prude. But it's also like kind of like, like, of course, yeah, we're going out because ultimately the goal of a relationship is to fuck. So, <laughs> well, it's one of the goals at least. <laughs> Wait, so you write great communication and great sex? No, communication and great sex. Oh, communi just regular communication? Yeah. <laughs> the goal, <laughs> the goal. <laughs> The goal well, of relationship. Look, I think it's what's the trademark. Of, <laughs> what's the trademark of a good relationship? <laughs> the trademark of a, of a good. Oh, it's funny though, because you said the goal of a relationship is to fuck. Like, <laughs> I doubt. I doubt like almost any girl would agree with that, even if they thought it. Well, it's it's it's, it's one of the girls. Right? It's what's one of it. Like a lot a lot of girls. Like for example, they like just don't feel. I don't know, like, they, they're like, oh, I can't have sex outside of a relationship. Or really that comes down to is like, I need trust with a guy before I can fuck him. Like, hey, I want to I get laid, but I don't, you know, I don't want to fuck a random stranger and feel like a slut. So I want to have, like, a relationship. Like, I don't know if you noticed this, but I find out, at least in Miami, where I live, a lot of, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends, it's just really, like, fuck buddies without, like, actually calling it a fuck buddy. Like, that's what I've seen a lot of here. So it's not like the two people like really care about each other that much at least that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right um i'm trying to think what else i i don't know i, I always like scan through their six pictures and if it, like just really quickly because i don't want to spend a lot of time on their profile either but if it's a dog i just say cute cute dog what's his name if there's any kind of place that's like not a normal place i'm like looks fun where where was this um, or any other stupid thing like, oh, like she has different hair colors. What color is your hair now? It, anything like that. But I always make it a question just so that the response rate is higher because I feel like they're gonna wanna. And, and I make I, I make it I make it about like something they clearly care about. 
like if it's their dog they clearly care about that or if, if, it, if they're like holding like a baby like how old is the baby like i don't care if it's their baby or their fucking nephew or whatever i just they're not, they're not gonna be like fuck this guy like they're gonna like it's almost like you're channeling compliance through the dog or the baby that's like the best way to put it <laughs> using, the dog, like, using, using the dog to get laid but like <laughs> it's what you're doing no, I mean, for them to like deny your question about the dog is almost like disrespectful to their to the dog on some level in their mind. I feel. That's true. Do you do you, do you find out that that will actually translate into solid meat? I don't really give a shit. Like, I'm just using that as an in to like start the conversation. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna like continue the thread about their dog or their baby or the or no, the. Stupid... I, I, I get it. What I'm saying is that like, if it's like, so like, if the girl will only respond just because it's a question, like, do you find that that will. Well, then. Be... It... Well then, it, well then it's I don't know because I I've only been on it like a month, but I'm doing pretty well on it. Like I said, like I just jump on and like most girls ask questions to a lot of them are replying to them. Yeah. Um, but I feel like, uh, what the fuck was I gonna say? I feel like, um, like oh that that starts like a, a compliance momentum thing. It start it starts like a slippery slope. Or like, even if she's like doing it out of obligation, just because it's about the dog or the baby, and she feels like she has to answer it, like now you've started a conversation and you have like your thread. Like for those of you that haven't used Hinge, when they like respond to your comment or they like accept your like or whatever and like you back, now you have like a dedicated thread to like converse, just like a text thread or like a match on Tinder. Basically, the big difference between one of the big differences between Hinge and Tinder is that on Hinge you can actually send your first message. Without matching with the girl, in essence. yeah, I love that. Yeah, so it's it's like it's it's kind of like okay, Cupid in that sense, but without like all the bots and the whatever. And, <laughs> and the all, chicks, all, are, the chicks are are decent looking. Like, I think they're better looking than Tinder, to be honest. Really? Yeah, they're they're almost as good as Bumble. Bumble, I think. Uh, be like out of all those apps, Bumble would be first place. Hinge would be second. Hinge or about, uh, Inner Circle, maybe. What about the prudeness, though? Uh, I've banged quite a few girls from Hinge, honestly, so I haven't noticed them. I haven't really encountered any super prude ones on Hinge. Not yeah. that I can, not, not that I can of, think of. Like, Bumble's slightly more prude than Tinder. Yeah, on average, but still still definitely some DTF girls on Bumble. Yeah, but with Hinge, like, you, in terms of, like, how DTF the girls are, would you say, like, it's, like, Tinder, Hinge, Bumble? I would say it's somewhere in between Tinder and Bumble. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I wish I would have well, fucking. A lot, a lot of it also based on like your profile. Like I don't know. Yeah. Like, you attract like every guy attracts different types of girls. Yeah, yeah. I wish I would have fucking installed it sooner. Like, like I said in the beginning, like one thousand one hundred sixty-eight girls. I only, I only have like a handful of hinge lays, I think, right now. But I'm like new to it. But it's, it's funny. It's, it's a solid app. Yeah. Uh, there's, like only, the big... there's only three apps I really recommend: Tinder, Bumble, and Hinge. That's what I was gonna say. Other, yeah. Most of the other ones suck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cupid and Plenty of Fish and Match have like, it's like fucking creatures. <laughs> <laughs> creatures of the deep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean that can probably wrap it up then. I just wanted we we got into some of our online game strategy that we're using, so that's pretty good. Um, I'll, so, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give away a big one for your channel. One thing that I've been doing is I changed my job to uh, sexologist. So my job title is sexologist. I get a lot of questions about that. Like, oh, what does sexologist do exactly? Or how do you become a sexologist? I find that's like a really good way to like just create like a good sexual thread. Do you like, do you say it's a joke or you just own it? No, I own it. And what do you say you do? I'm like, oh, you know, I'm like a sex and dating coach. I'll, um, I'll explain more, you know, when we hang out. So it's a little bit, it's better explained over a bottle of wine. <laughs> She's like, what's a sexologist? You're like, well, I give people advice on sex and dating. I can tell you all about it with some no, wine. Not exactly. it's, it's, it's a little bit smoother than that. Like, we, can't leave, we can't leave my house because my dog's here and he has separation anxiety. <laughs> can you come over right now? Right now? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you have a girl for the dog? He's getting uterine in two weeks, so we need to uh, get him laid ASAP. <laughs> you, you know what another thing I've been doing? Uh, that I could add in. This is kind of a new. It's it's interesting after like a thousand tricks, still fucking innovating new new shit in here. But I've I've tried to like do a bunch of them to like meet immediately, like even if I'm not free. And then like once you, I get them to commit to the meet, then I can just reschedule it. 
So like, I'll just be like, are you feeling, I got that from when I started saying, are you spontaneous? I'll be like, are you feeling spontaneous? And I'll be like, yeah, I just got back from the store <laughs> picking up this 80 inch TV. I'm like, or, or, or like, I'm in a terrific mood today. I really just want to put on a comedy movie and just relax. I know we haven't met before, but hashtag, I literally would put hashtag YOLO. I'll put, I'll put that like helps to aid the compliance. I'll be like, but hashtag YOLO, you should totally come watch. And then I'll, I'll throw in the no sex expectations sometimes just because that's such a common response. I just preempt it sometimes. So I'm like, are you feeling spontaneous? Depends, maybe. Oh, cool. I'm in a great mood. I really want to watch, want to watch a comedy movie on this new 80-inch TV that I bought. You should come over. Hashtag YOLO. I know we've never met. Don't worry. I have no sexual expectations. Hashtag, hashtag no expectations. And then hashtag. what a lot, a lot of times what they say is like, hashtag I, I can't I, leave the house because of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say this sometimes at like 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. after a chick leaves. I'll like jump on the, the app and I'll, I'll say that to a bunch of new matches. And they're like, a, a lot of them are down for it. They're like, well, I would. And I think it's especially because I'm saying like, don't worry, I'm not going to try to bang you. But I don't say it like that. But I, <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. Like I'm not, this isn't like a Netflix and chill request. But then we end up hooking up like within like a minute, anyways. Like I arrive and we just start like making out. Or, the, or no, not, I was thinking of one. Oh, this chick was like, "I'm about to get into bed, but you can come here." Like it was like this whole back and forth. But like, um, <laughs> but but the thing is, a lot of them are like, "Oh, I would," but I have an early morning because I'm doing this at like ten. A lot of them are like in bed or like about to go to bed. And then I'm like, okay, no worries. Uh, which day can we plan for it? And but it's already like they agreed upon it, and now it's just setting a time for it. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing the dynamic. What it's going to be like dates with like now that I have a dog, like because he follows me around the apartment. He's a rescue, so he follows me around. So it's going to be interesting. Like, oh, uh, I think my dog is getting a little rambunctious because he ever clothes on. Why don't you just take them off so he uh, he can calm down a little bit. So many, like so much potential for humor, <laughs> all that. Yeah, well, I, th I think I think that pretty much wraps it up uh, on Hinge. You can <laughs> you should make another video on on dogs, dog game. <laughs> You're like, yeah, my dog, <laughs> my dog's favorite rapper is DMX. <laughs> so let me, tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you about my dog. Well, just talking things. about your dog. Tell me about yourself. No, 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 not that interesting. But my dog. <laughs> we can't. I can't leave my house because the dog has separation anxiety. So you have to split the bottle of wine here, and he doesn't. He doesn't like it when the guests have clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> He's really against. Uh, <laughs> he gets him like really riled up. It reminds him of the days when he used to, uh, with the previous owner, how they used to scold him while they had their clothes on. So now <laughs> we're just having we're just having no clothes rule at the you house. Should, this is fucked up, but you should like try to like train it to like lick nipples on a mannequin and just like reward it with treats. <laughs> like the chick comes over and it's like jumping up, licking your nipples, and then you're, and you're like, "Oh, I can see your nipples through your shirt." And she's like, "Hey." Yeah, <laughs> well, but then I run the risk of the chick choosing the dog over me. Like, oh well, why don't you just give us some privacy? I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna cop block my dog, you know. But you know, I don't want to bang you my dates either. What's next? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start fucking banging his dates in the dog park like it's just a slippery slope. So I don't know, man. It's a good looking dog, you know. I wouldn't want to. It's like a full bred Siberian husky. You, you have a chick sleep over. You like wake up in the middle of the night and the, <laughs> the chick's like not in your bed. So you got in the living room with the dog. She's she, she's in the dog bed. <laughs> There's like a protect, protective like growl as I as I walk over. Oh, I'm like all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> dog, dog mog. Dog mog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog mail of the group. All right. All right, man. Good stuff. So yeah, that's good. I will. Uh, here, send I'll end the recording. Let me stop the recording. Rec yeah, yeah. Send me the recording. All right. But yeah. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Oh, do you want to talk about? Uh, we're gonna run a a sale thing. Or are we going to do like an offer on yes. your channel? Yes. So, uh, for how well, we're, we're starting, we're restarting this. So, basically, anyone who buys the PWF blueprint will get access to John's product at 25% off, which essentially pays for the product itself because the 25% discount will be like over $100 and my product is like $150. So, essentially, it kind of balances out. Yep. 
Yeah, so yep, we'll put that link, the discount link in the description. Uh, all right, they have to buy yours first. Exactly. So you put your link in the description and then. Yeah, we'll do that. Also my link <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. And the first, the first five people who get, uh, who get the product get a reviewing picture of the dog. <laughs> a special doggy calendar. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do we'll do more. Uh, stay tuned, everyone. We'll be we'll be doing some more collaborations. There's not many, really there's not really many uh, underground masters left anymore now that uh, now that Tim Ray got engaged. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't. I don't now really. That my dog got engaged. I don't really like Tim Ray. <laughs> Your dog got engaged. All right. It's single. All right, man. Good, good All right. Having you. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right. See you.